Hi, on today's Food for Thought Thursday, we're going to talk about coconut. Now, the coconut has so many health benefits, too many to mention in this video, so I'll just touch on a, on a few key ones. First of all, coconut water. It can relieve constipation and can be used as a natural diuretic. And coconut water can also dissolve kidney stones and prevent bladder infections when consumed regularly. Then we have coconut milk, which is a great alternative for those that are lactose intolerant or for those that are vegan. And then we have the coconut meat, which is extremely high in fiber. It can lower cholesterol, lower triglyceride levels, making it a heart healthy snack. And consider when you're baking that you should add some coconut flour to your, your recipes to really boost the fiber content of your recipes. And eating coconut meat can also moderate your blood sugar levels, making it a excellent snack for diabetics. And consuming coconut meats, coconut water, coconut milk can actually enhance the uh, immune system. It can increase your energy levels while increasing your metabolism. So you can buy coconut water, you can buy the milk, you can buy the meat in many stores. But Steve's going to show you a very fun and much cheaper way to get your coconut products. So stay tuned. Today we're going to be talking about coconuts. Now, these are nice coconuts. In fact, when I bought them at the store and I was walking down the produce section, somebody said, hey, nice coconuts. Actually, it didn't happen, but what's really nice about these coconuts is what's on the inside. I mean, they're kind of nice looking on the outside, kind of furry and everything, but listen to this. Listen to what's in the inside. That's right, coconut water. And you wouldn't believe how much coconut water is inside one coconut. Coconut water is full of electrolytes and other great stuff, which is incredible for your health. It's also great for hydration after hangovers, as you may have read in our book, uh, I Married a Nutritionist. These are powerful things. Not only can you juggle them, you can drink from them and eat from them. Now I'm going to show you, first of all, how to get the water out of the coconut. That's the very first thing you have to do. Okay, there's three little nipples on the end here. Actually, they're reverse nipples because they're in dents. So one of them is soft, and animals know how to do how to poke through those. And uh, we're going to show you. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to guess that this little one right here is the soft one. Here we go. Ooh, score! All right. So what you do if if you try to poke out the other ones, nothing's going to happen. But just by using this barbecue skewer, I just poke through the little thin skin, created a hole. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and drain this. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And let's see just how much coconut water is going to come out of there. Now you may have to shake it a little bit because that hole gets plugged up with some other, you know, bits and pieces of coconut that happened when you poked it through. But we're going to go ahead and let that drain for a little while. And then we'll take a look back on it. Now I'm guessing that's going to probably be about two, maybe two cups or more of coconut water. Okay, we're going to take a look at our coconut water right now, and I'm going to shake a little bit extra out of there. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. And my guess of two cups is right on the money. Okay, I'm going to shake a little bit more out of that. Okay, it's a lot of exercise you get with the coconut, but you haven't seen anything yet. Wait until we crack this baby open and get the meat outside. Okay, we basically shook it. Okay. The coconut is now empty, and take a look at how much coconut water we got out of there. You're looking at just over two cups. Now this coconut water you can go ahead and put in the refrigerator. You can add it to things. You can uh, put it over your cereal. It's 100% pure coconut water. Now a lot of people think coconut water, wait a minute, that's going to make me fat. A lot of the fat in coconuts, whether it's the water or the meat, is actually good fat that your body knows what to do with. So it's perfectly uh, terrific to drink. And we're going to go ahead and put that down. And once again, we have an empty coconut. Now what are we going to do with this? A lot of times when you go on vacation, people will buy a coconut, put a straw in it, drink it, and then throw it away. But tell you, my friends, you are missing out on the best part. We're now going to go into the garage and crack this sucker open with a hammer. Let's talk about our tools. We need two tools. We need a hammer, okay, and a screwdriver. Now it's important to wash your screwdriver before you do this because God knows what happened to that screwdriver last time, whether you were putting something together or, you know, doing whatever. Um, so don't just, you know, wipe it on your pants, wash the screwdriver. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. Step one, 
we need to crack this baby open. So now is where you can get into your primal instincts of, you know, kind of crushing things. But we're not going to pulverize it. We want to just hit it hard enough that it's going to, you know, crack open into fairly good sized pieces so that we can then go ahead and extract the meat. Okay, now I want to show you something. And uh, actually, Karen taught me this. I never really realized it, but there are some big ridges on the coconut. Okay, you can see it. There's one there and one there, and there's also another one here. Those are spots you want to hit with the hammer because then they'll have some nice open cracks. Let's take a look and let's try to uh, crack some coconut open. Okay, we're now on the floor. We got our coconut, we got our hammer. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it a pretty good whack right there and check that out, split right open like that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it open. Fantastic, look at that. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. We have our coconut. Now we're gonna show you how to do this. What we want to do is put the screwdriver, kind of wedge it right between the white, okay? And you just kind of work your way around, as you can see. You just kind of put it right in between. It takes a little bit of time, but kind of make a game out of it to see how much you can actually separate without breaking the piece. You know, it's kind of a strange, fun thing. Look at that. You can see how it's already starting to come up there, okay? And just kind of work your way around. As you see, this is doing, it's coming up quite nicely here. Some coconut meat is thicker than others. This is actually kind of a thin one. We've had some that are incredibly thick, have a little bit less water in it, but either way, it's a winner. So as you see, we're working our way in, and I'm not going to take it all off under the camera, but I'm going to break off a piece so you can see. Well, actually, this one's coming out incredibly good may have something to do with, uh, you know, my mastery of removing coconut. But take a look. See how that's coming apart right there? You can see it just separates right on through. And you just kind of work your way around. And, in fact, you can even see the hole there that we punched through. Okay? You just kind of work your way around and just kind of gently do that. And it's actually separating here. Okay? And... Check it out. We, and I'm doing this a little bit fast because it's on camera. And voila. We have it. Okay. okay, we're now down to the final step. We have our coconut meat. I did actually scrape off some of the uh, outer rough stuff, roughage as I said. And basically we're just going to go ahead and put it down here and start slicing it up into small pieces. So there you have it, a bowl full of sliced up coconut in little, little strips, and you can actually shred it, you can put it on your cereal, you can eat it, uh, just snack on the, the pieces. Wonderful snack, very healthy for you. And the best part is incredibly affordable. Those coconuts we had, we bought them actually at a local Latina supermarket, or you can buy them in regular supermarkets uh, for about $1.50 each. We got two cups of coconut water, fresh coconut water, and we only actually use half the coconut from what you see here. Yet, oh, a couple days worth of snacking on that. It's just really a terrific thing for you. Now, there has been somebody who's been watching this entire process from the beginning, from the draining, from the cracking open to getting the coconut meat out. It's time to reward our audience member. Okay, I would like to introduce everybody to Riley. Riley has been watching us. Riley loves coconut. You like? Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, Riley, go ahead. There you go. I think you just earned yourself a piece of coconut. Coconut is fantastic for dogs, just as cauliflower and uh, carrots and broccoli. They just eat it up and it's a really good healthy snack. Anyway, thanks for sticking with us through the, uh, the coconut episode and uh, we hope you'll get out and get some coconuts and crack them open.